Let me teach you how to use texture packs in Minecraft 1.21.5. Let's go. Now guys, the first step to add a texture pack to Minecraft is to download one. So I went ahead and placed this link in the description. It will be the second link. This is a very short article in here that contains what I consider to be the top 10 best texture packs for Minecraft 1.21.5. Choose whichever one you want from here. For this guide, I'm going to choose the first one, which is Bare Bones, which is the trailer texture pack. But you could choose whichever one you want and the installing process will be the same. Just go ahead and find one that you like and click download that is going to redirect you to the texture pack site where we're going to look for the version that you want in this case is 1.21.5 and then hit download once you have it in here and usually you have to wait either five seconds or sometimes the download will begin right away now once your file downloads i want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop you can find it here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder on your computer now once you have that texture pack on your computer it should be a zip file and we're going to leave it as a zip file the next step is to open the minecraft launcher and by the way guys if you want to support the channel and start a server using the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex OC. Now, this is a limited time deal and I don't know how long it's going to last, so take advantage of that deal right now. Apex OC actually supports over 200 mod packs, so you could create a server in less than five minutes that has your favorite mod pack. They also have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging when playing with friends. Again, first link in the description for that limited time deal. And now let's keep going with this guide. Now, once your Minecraft launcher has opened, go ahead and launch the Java version of the game and make sure it's 1.21.5. Now, once you open your game, go ahead and launch a single player world, or you could also test this out on a multiplayer world and if you don't have a multiplayer server again that first link in the description will give you 25% off for a limited time with apex hosting now once you're in a world to add the texture pack that you downloaded you're gonna go ahead and press escape you're gonna head over to options and you're gonna click where it says resource packs in here we should see this open pack folder down here go ahead and click it this is going to open this folder right here which should be empty for you and all you have to do now is add into this folder the texture pack that you downloaded earlier for my case is bare bones 1.21.5 so i'm gonna go ahead and add it in here now you could close this folder and launch your game back up once your game opens you should see the texture pack that you added in here for me it's bare bones 1.21.5 but if you added any different one you should see it in here now you're gonna click on this arrow which is gonna send it to this side in here and sometimes Sometimes it might say something like incompatible, but you could still turn it on even if it says it was made for an older version, most of the time it will still work with the newer version of Minecraft. Now once you have it on the selected side, go ahead and hit done and now wait for that texture pack to load. As you can see mine was really really fast and now hit done, go back to the game and now you have a texture pack in Minecraft 1.21.5. A good idea is to always combine texture packs with shaders, like for example if I turn on shaders right now, look how beautiful this looks. Now this actually feels like the trailer of Minecraft and if you want to also also install shaders for Minecraft 1.21.5, go ahead and watch the video that is up on the screen right now. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials.